Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, May 20, I have to figure out, January, February, March, April, uh, May 24th of 2019. It's about 8.15 p.m. This is going to be a short video. Um, my the plants that I ordered uh, about a week ago are at the local post office so tomorrow which is Saturday uh, they should be at my uh, mailbox and I will be putting them in my 20 gallon aquarium so I think I'm getting about six different plants. I could tell you what they are, but I guess I'll just wait until tomorrow and uh, and do that. Uh, I've been watching. Uh, I've been watching this lady. I just found her. I don't know the last week or two, a very short time ago. Uh, this is the. Uh, lady from the Big Bang Theory and their ninth season just came to an end. I I was a big fan of the uh, the show. I don't know why. I think I watched maybe half of the the shows and then I stopped. It might have been that I was having to watch it you know over the local CBS station and then I so I'd have to watch it if I didn't catch it, if I missed it or whatever, then I just stopped watching it. And because I hardly ever turn the TV on, I have a Roku TV, by the way, but uh, a small one. But I uh, stopped watching it, although I really loved it. Um, then I signed up for, not because of that, but I actually for my ex-wife, signed up for uh, CBS Live. So we get the TV, we get CBS, you know, by the internet, but they also have all of their shows and they go back, everything that CBS has had is available to watch. So uh, I could go, and I just never did it. I could have gone back and just started watching The Big Bang Theory. I just didn't do it. I don't watch a lot of TV. I, I don't know. I think maybe I do watch, I watch a ton of YouTube videos. And, you know, we have, we're signed up for Hulu, Amazon Prime, Netflix, or whatever. So I, I can't say I don't watch a lot of, but I don't really think I do. Because I can't do two things at the, same time. I can barely do one thing at a time. Uh, I wish I could because I, I know lots of people who have, they're watching a t movie or and they're doing coding <laughs> and uh, chatting on, you know, Facebook and just, I can't do that. Unfortunately. Uh, so I haven't gone back, but then I stumbled upon, so I didn't go back to watch the uh, Big Bang Theory. Um, but anyway, I found her website and I did not know that she had been in, what, Blossom? I never watched that show. Heard the name of it, I don't even, you know. She was in that when she was a child. But anyway, she's really, she has a really, uh, I'm embarrassed, you know. Uh, she has a really great YouTube site and uh, she's open, she's honest, and articulate, and uh, she has, <laughs> it's funny, of course, I did not know this until I looked her up on Wikipedia, but, uh, you know, on the Big Bang Theory, she plays Sheldon's girlfriend, and then eventually they're married on the show. But uh, 
on that, she plays, a, I think, a neural scientist or whatever. She actually has a PhD in neural science. So, but anyway, her all of her videos are just, she's also a vegetarian. And uh, anyway, I, I'll put a link below to her site. So that's one of the things I'm going to start doing. Maybe I'm not sure if it's going to be every video that I make. Pro probably not because some of the videos I make here I'll maybe be devoted to one subject or something. I don't know. But I am going to start um, making recommendations to you on YouTube sites that I think are really great. Now, what you can do, which you won't do, and I don't blame you, is you could come to my channel uh, on YouTube. And on the right hand, I've got recommended channels here. So I've got the PBS NewsHour, uh, Twit and Netcast Network, uh, Naomi uh, Sexy Cybird from China, uh, First Ring Daily, Today I Found Out, Top Ten, uh, Great Big Story, View of the Fifth Column, Aquarium Co-op, and then uh, this lady, Maya, I think it's Maya. I don't know what her, I forget. She says her name, I believe, at the beginning, so I have to, I have to listen again. Uh, I think the only problem is uh, YouTube is limiting how many, I think this is about the most I can have here, but I have set it so that it rotates so that it, when you come back, you might catch another because it'll change if there are more. Uh, YouTube had something here that we could uh, work with, and they, I forget, I mentioned it on a, a video, they have removed that. So I guess there's something else coming. Uh, somebody else's, and I, do I have it here? Yeah, I do, here it is. Uh, aquarium co-op uh, this guy just uh, some really of course he's got some help he's an aquarium owner and it's called aquarium co-op and he makes fantastic videos uh, this one is especially good I just watched this one today this one you you know it says my local fish shop I own it and then he does, you know, the, the driving up to open it, you know, and he goes inside, he turns the lights on, and then he goes around, shows you quite a bit about the place. And then at the end of the video, you know, which is, I think, about 30, it's 25 minutes, you know, he goes and locks, you know, locks up the place. But he does fantastic videos, and he's very knowledgeable about uh, tropical fish and everything, and I see over, well, you can see over here it has like uh, where I buy my fish, uh, five strains of fancy guppies, uh, how to open a fish store, how aquarium co-op is thriving. Uh, he visits other uh, places, places in Florida where he buys some of his fish, uh, other fish shops. Uh, he went, made a video, I think, in Germany. He made a, of the fish shops there. Wow. And even he admitted that uh, we have nothing like these fish stores. You know, the ones he, the one he went to, I think he went to more than one, was a, a chain like Petco, but <laughs> nothing like Petco. I mean, you know, this was, uh, anyway, he showed it uh, fantastic the way they have everything set up and the way everything works over there. So uh, we could learn a lot. Um, by the way, his... Well, I won't even go there. If you watch his videos, you'll find out. Well, 
I'll mention it. He had a puffer that was that he had it at home before he opened the uh, tropical f fish shop, and uh, it was like it was large. It was like his pet. He talked about it like it was a dog. It was his friend, or whatever. And uh, and it went well. If you watch his videos, you'll find out, you know, what happens. And uh, he's very emotional about what happened. He has another large, you know, puffer now. But anyway, he makes great videos. And if you're edu really educational, and he's he's very open to, which I love, that's the way I am. Except I don't have much to be open about, you know. But I've always been that way, even before... Uh, making live streaming videos and uh, of when I was blogging, you know, online since 1982, I was, you know, very open, very honest about everything. And uh, I admire that in other people. That's because that's, I guess you, you know, the way you are, if you're sort of, you know, and you see somebody that's, uh, but, uh, doing the same thing or but uh, uh, so anyway rambling again I don't think they ramble uh, or else they do editing <laughs> um, so I think I'll, that's one of the things I'm going to be doing and you know, I'll be doing my regular stuff that I've been doing uh, and I'm a very low, you know, my, I have less than 3,000 subscribers, and it's been less than 3,000 subscribers forever, and uh, you all have been really nice to me, and, you know, I have a following, but nothing like, you know, <laughs> well, this, this video here, well, it's a year old, no, it's more than a year old, but and it has 190,000 views, so. Uh, I get 50 views, 100 views. I mean, I've gotten, on, you know, I've got some videos that have made, you know, had a lot of views, but that's unusual. The norm is 100 views or something. But, um, so what I want, what, I, what you can maybe expect from me is my normal videos that I do. And I'm going to pick out from time to time, maybe every video, well, probably not every video, but a YouTube site that I think, you know, that I like, and I'll pass the link on to you. Um, then what I've, I've always kind of, I like answering questions, and I don't have enough viewers that, uh, plus two, that you all, if you were to ask me a question, you'd be ask him and that's probably nothing it's not something i so and i well i don't know if i'd love this this plus site or not but my god it pops up every day or every few days and i end up spending an hour an hour and a half sometimes more reading the questions and reading the answers that people are giving i am addicted to it it's, it's using up way too much time but what I'm going to do from now on, because I'm looking at it anyway, is this headphone keeps, I'm going to have to clip this thing here so it doesn't pull, you know. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll look at them, and you're not asking me these questions. These questions are being asked, and I'll pick some and uh, that I have an answer for, and I will answer them online. Um, you know, it'd be a question like this as a doctor, what has a patient done that caused you to burst out in laughter? Well, I'm not a doctor, but then what I'll do is I'll maybe tell you what uh, a patient did that made me burst out in laughter. 
or what an employee did, especially what a supervisory employee or somebody, you know, uh, did. I already mentioned one time, I think. You know, like I had a, uh, he was in charge of the ER, a nurse, RN, a male RN nurse in charge of the emergency room and in charge of surgery. And I'm not going to go into detail. This isn't the answer I was given, but, uh, well, I didn't burst out laughing. I thought, yeah. But uh, I told him, no, this gentleman should not go into surgery to sign the, the paperwork, bring the paperwork out here. And he was like, have him come, you know. So he goes in, so I'm standing outside of surgery. And then immediately the guy comes running out and takes off down the hall. And then the supervisor, who I had just told, comes out, stop him, stop him, stop him. And I said, stop him for what? He tore up the admitting papers that he was supposed to sign or, you know, whatever for his wife. And I said, I can't stop him for that. You shouldn't have let him go in there. But it'll be things like that. Um, have the police ever showed up unexpectedly at your door? Yes. What traumatic event affected you as a teen that affected you the rest of your life? I don't think I'd have an answer for that. Uh, what's instinctive? What's one instinctive thing that you did that prevented something bad from happening? Now there'd be a bunch of things that I could uh, I could answer on that. Uh, what's the scariest example of medical negligence that you've seen? I can answer that. Uh, Is it true that a police officer cannot void a ticket after starting the ring? You know, I can answer that, but I'm sure, you know. What did a teacher say that made you change your ways? I'd have to think on that. I don't think, I don't think anything. Anyway, I'll be answering some, some of these questions because I like reading them and because uh, I like Telling, I, I do, I do like telling people I told you so. Uh, that's not good. That's not a good trait in a person. I mean, I don't always do it. I'm not, I'm not somebody that people don't say, oh, this guy, you know, but uh, I do like it. Um, not, like I said, not a good trait. Anyway, um, I kind of wondered if these questions, some of these are really, the answers are things. I wondered, if, I remember when Elvis Presley went into the military and uh, we, you saw very few, you know, you know, little uh, pictures of him, little stories came out and I kind of wondered, you know, is he getting special, is he getting special treatment and is he really doing whatever? And then, you know, somebody asked him, of course the person who's answering is not something, the person who's answering this is somebody who uh, knew somebody who served in the same unit in the 50s and you know so let me, let me go ahead and just read this uh, so the person answering this question was in the u.s army from 66 to 69 and he served uh, for two years and four months in germany with the rank of an e5 and he says I was in from 1966 to 69. I went through my advanced training at Fort Rucker, Alabama with a Specialist First Class E-7 who served in the same unit with Elvis in the 50s. <clears throat> he told us that Elvis was a regular guy who did his job and was well liked by his fellow soldiers. <clears throat> I was also told that he didn't take a salary but donated it to the USO, United Service Organization. But not sure if that's true or not. Of course, compared to his 
record contract. His military pay would barely pay for a set of tires for one of these Cadillacs. That sounds like it's, you know, sounds like it's true and, you know, realistic or whatever. So anyway, so I'll be answering some questions and then doing my regular thing. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video later tonight or, but I expect that there will be, I'm sure, unless something happens to me, there'll be a video tomorrow where I uh, <clears throat> put the plants, the new plants that I got into the aquarium. Uh, so far the tank looks like it, it's empty, but uh, two of my snails are pretty much moving around. The Placostomus are, they're pretty active. Uh, and I got five Coriodorus, very small uh, catfish, and four of them are scurrying around. One of them, I think, probably got, maybe have something wrong with it. Uh, maybe it didn't do well to being transferred, or maybe it wasn't doing too well in the tank. It doesn't seem as active. And its coloring is a little bit different. So... I may have to have a funeral for him one of these days, I don't know. Maybe he will snap out of it, but I'll be putting more plants in. I want to, I've really spent too much already on the fish tank and the stuff that's in the fish tank. I want to get some kind of wood to go in there and some stone to put in there and a cave or whatever which I could make with a I could break a flower I don't have a flower pot but I could break you know but or purchase one uh, I want to put that in there in case the placostomus you know get bigger and decide to breed or something um, but I definitely would like some wood and uh, and some a little bit of stone in there and uh, so anyway uh, we'll go back here uh, thank you very much for for watching <laughs>